This week on Channel 8 News, we'll take a look at Northwest Family of the Year, the Alumni Awards Banquet, and the 25th anniversary celebration of the Missouri Arboretum. For more information on stories that matter to you, catch Channel 8 News every Monday through Thursday at 6.15 p.m. right here on KNWT Channel 8. tuning in to Channel 8 News. I'm Shannon Clement. And I'm Jackie Harding. Hallie Cornelius and Brianna Wesley got the inside scoop on Northwest Family of the Year. Let's take a look. Northwest presents Family of the Year Award. This esteemed award is presented every year during Family Weekend. Family of the Year Award is sponsored by Campus Dining and the Community. This year's recipients of the Family of the Year Award is the Haskell family. They have quite the history with Northwest. Oh uh, yeah, my parents met here. My dad was a junior and my mom was a freshman. They met in speech class and in marching band. So we took the time of getting a few interviews from the family to see what they had to say about the award. Yeah, I think the award is something that the university should keep around because it, it promotes the uh, idea of a legacy. Um, I guess it, it shows when grandparents come here and then their kids come here and then their kids come here, it, it shows that it's a place that would be good for a family to continue to send generations. Northwest takes the time out to appreciate families by not only giving them this award, but also a $750 scholarship and other gifts. Um, the scholarship money will most likely go to my mom because she's coming back to Northwest to get her master's degree. The Haskell family will be receiving Family of the Year Award during the halftime show of the football game. This has been Brianna Wesley with KNWT Channel 8. Thanks for watching. Thanks, guys. Ben Whitney and Derek Guerrero got a deeper look into the Alumni Awards Banquet. Guys? <laughs> There are many individuals who dedicate their time, effort, and talents to the betterment of Northwest. Each year, seven people who embody these traits are recognized at the Alumni Awards Banquet. The Bearcat family, as we like to call it, is amazing. It is big and strong and proud, and tonight really shows that. We see individuals who are doing some great things within their professions and also for this university. Uh, as we select these recipients, we look at how they're involved with the school, and Bearcats definitely love this institution, and we want to celebrate all of that. John Moore, a 1978 graduate of Northwest, was one of this year's award recipients. I've received the Turret Award for service to the university, and uh, you know I've been volunteering here now for the last four years. I live in Kansas City. I make a lot of trips up here, and it's been very fulfilling for me. From young and old alumni to faculty to public servants, it's safe to say that the award recipients are quite a diverse group. But although their ages and experiences may vary, each has a unique story and plenty of advice to give to Northwest students. One of the things that um, was very helpful to me at least is if there was a call for volunteers to do anything, whether it was a menial task or whether it was a major task, I raised my hand and said, I can't guarantee I'll do it as well as other people, but I guarantee you I will try as hard as anybody else. And so, um, stuff that takes you out of your comfort zone, go on ahead and throw your name in the hat, volunteer to do it, try it. The more you push your boundaries of your comfort zone, the more ready you're going to be for the real world. Reporting for KNWT, I'm Ben Whitney. Thanks, guys. When we come back, we'll take a look at the top five things to do in the Northwest community. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Channel 8 News. I'm Shannon Clement. And I'm Jackie Harding. And here are the top five things to do in the Northwest community this week. On Monday, September 17th, from 12 to 12.45 p.m., in the University Wellness Center Conference Room, Clean Bearcats take place. 
Clean Bearcats aimed to bring together a group of like-minded people, including students sober in recovery, students choosing a sober lifestyle, and allies. On Tuesday, September 18th from 2 to 3 p.m. in the Station Executive Boardroom, hashtag relationships takes place. Social connections are interwoven in every part of your life. This workshop will focus on topics such as improving communication skills, making new friends, defining healthy relationships, addressing roommate conflict, and much more. On Wednesday, September 19th from 8 to 10.30 p.m. in the Student Recreation Center, the Student Activities Council and the University Police Department will be putting on Grocery Bingo. Students are invited to this event to compete to win free groceries. On Thursday, September 20th from 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. in the Station Executive Boardroom, Every Body takes place. Every Body is a nutrition and body esteem workshop that will create a supportive environment around body and food positivity. Nutrition sessions will help students make food choices, which optimize health and much more. Come out and learn how to live a healthier lifestyle. On Saturday, September 22nd, from noon to 10 p.m. at the Lampkin Activity Center, come out and support the Relay for Life. Teams of Nottoway County residents will gather in relay games against cancer. Games, music, and live entertainment will go on throughout the day. At 5 p.m., a cancer survivor and caregivers lap to celebrate those who have survived cancer or are currently battling cancer will take place. Come out to the Bearcat Arena and support. Well, those are the top five things to do in the Northwest community this week. When we come back, we'll take a look at some more recent news and events. Don't go away. Welcome back to Channel 8 News. I'm Shannon Clement. And I'm Jackie Harding. Nolan Brooks and Brady Archer went down to catch the 25th anniversary of the Missouri Arboretum. Let's take a look. On September 14th at 2.30 p.m., Northwest Missouri State celebrated the 25th anniversary of the Missouri Arboretum. Channel 8 sat down with Facility Service employee Patrick Ward to find out how the Arboretum came to be. The Arboretum goes back to the founder of this area here, well, bought the first land, Thomas Gaunt, and uh, that was back in the 1850s, 1860s, 1870s. He planted a lot of trees. A lot of those trees, of course, are gone. Uh, then through the years, professors, the administration, um, the people who take care of the grounds here, facilities, have planted trees on the campus. People have had memorial trees planted in the name of loved ones or something. And uh, so there's been a continuous planting of trees. The event itself was held at Garrett Strong and included two speakers that brought in different topics about trees and the culture behind it. Facility Service employee Michael Madison explained how the event was brought to Northwest. Uh, with us being the Missouri Ar State Arboretum, we have the unique capability to being an outdoor classroom. And so with that, we have two speakers that are going to be talking about uh, cruise and horticulture and bonsai trees, which we don't have any bonsai trees currently on campus, but they're still a tree nonetheless. And having a program like this will help educate other people about the cruise and horticulture and about trees in general. The event concluded with the planting of a golden rain tree that symbolized the 25th anniversary of the Missouri State Arboretum. Reporting for Channel 8 News, this has been Nolan Brooks and Brady Archer. Thanks, guys. Well, that's all the time we have for this week. To keep up to date on what Channel 8 News crew is up to, like us on Facebook at backslash KNWT8 or follow us on Twitter at KNWT8. Story Behind the Story is up next from all of us here at Channel 8 News. I'm Jackie Harding. And I'm Shannon Clement. Have a great night.